members come together to help the family of a fallen soldier. Good evening, I'm Megan O'Rourke. Sergeant Cody Bryan died last month after having surgery on injuries he sustained in Iraq. He was 22 years old. Alexa Ashwell is live in Kettering to tell us how the community is helping the loved ones he left behind. Well, Megan, we're here at Los Reyes Restaurant, and going on right now is a fundraiser for Sergeant Cody Bryan. Bryan was a Kettering native and a Fairmont High School graduate who lost his life serving and protecting our country. It's not just the food that brought dozens of people to Los Reyes Restaurant in Kettering, but a much larger purpose to raise money for the family of a fallen hero. Sergeant Cody Bryan volunteered to go and um, knowing that something could happen. So it's just something to help show our support. Sergeant Cody Bryan was injured in a Humvee accident in Iraq. The 22-year-old died unexpectedly on October 14th after having surgery in a Colorado hospital. He left behind a wife, Megan, four-year-old daughter, two-year-old son, and an unborn child due next month. Now the people of Kettering are stepping up, protecting the family of a hero that lost his life protecting them. My brother's in the Army, and he's currently serving, and I could only imagine if something like this were to happen. And I figured that we're a community, and this is important to give back and help somebody out while they're down. It's just very important when people lose someone that they feel a sense of love, you know, love surrounding them. Now, if you would like to help the Bryan family, there is a fund set up at the Wright Pat Credit Union. Donations can be made to the Bryan, uh, excuse me, to the Cody Bryan Memorial Fund. Now, I did speak with the family members of Bryan. They did not wish to go on camera. However, would like to thank the community for all their support. Reporting live in Kettering, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.